Well, our reporter, Virginie Arts, is in Calais. She's been following today's events for us. She joins us now live. Virginie, first of all, tell us what's likely to happen to these migrants. Well, Mary, uh, almost half of these migrants are minors and are going to be sent in special centers for isolated ma uh, minors, whereas the adults, uh, they have been split in six different places. The minister didn't uh, say what type of places or what type of centers, but he assured uh, that they would, um, their situation would be examined case by case and that they would be informed of their rights. Uh, basically, uh, they have different options or they claim for asylum here, asylum here, excuse me, in France if they have the right to or uh, they, are, they accept to go back uh, freely to their countries with uh, uh, some money. Uh, some may find some uh, shelter in uh, some special centers, but uh, the minister also said that if they don't accept all, all, uh, all of these options, they might uh, go, uh, they will uh, be sent in an administ uh, administrative center where um, their situation would be uh, judged and they might be forced to go back to their uh, country. Now, speaking just in the past hour, the immigration minister said that he plans to extend this crackdown to migrant camps across the region. Now, Virginie, is that realistic? Well, here the NGO members say it's not realistic at all. They say that dismantling a camp doesn't mean that you dismantle uh, uh, tr uh, illegal trafficking. They say that uh, now migrants are forced to uh, be split and isolated. They are going to be uh, spread all around the region, one, two or three persons alone, and uh, that uh, the traffickers are going to be uh, much more powerful on them because uh, here they could, uh, all the migrants could stick together and uh, work together against the traffickers. All right, thanks.